Grandview Library presents Citing Books Using MLA. In order to be able to cite your resources, you need to know what pieces are included in your citation style. For citing books in MLA, you need to know the author and list them last name, comma, first name, middle name, or middle initial if available, and then a period. If no middle name or initial is available, place the period after the author's first name. Next comes the title of the book in italics, followed by a period. You capitalize the important words. Here we've capitalized classroom, habitudes, teaching, habits, attitudes, century, learning, but not and or for. Next comes the place of publication and publisher name, followed by the year of publication. Be sure to put a colon between the place of publication and the publisher name, a comma between the publisher name and the year of publication, and place a period after the year of publication. After the date comes the medium of publication. In this case, it's a print book, so we use print followed by a period. You can see that on the cover, the author's information is prominent, but if it wasn't clear, you can always find that information on the back of the title page inside the book. Here you can see the author, title, publisher location, publisher name, and copyright date. Sometimes citations may feel repetitive, but it is important to include all of the elements in the citation. You may also find it useful to double check your citation using WorldCat's Cite This Item tool, which can be accessed by searching for your book in WorldCat. You can use the library's website to find the link to WorldCat. If you have any questions or would like help searching, please contact the library at librarian at grandview.edu or using either of the phone numbers listed here.